because like now, if we think about the, the 80 antineutral thalamus as a target, it, it's a very like, it's not a big structure. It's like in, in, on, on, in, in average, on average, it's like four millimeters um, tall, four, four millimeters wide and, and, and 10 millimeters of length there. So it's not a big structure there. And, and the, the whole idea behind the therapies that, that you have these anatomical connections that are specific to the anterior nucleus of thalamus there. And now, of course, there's like what we have seen in, in our, what I've seen in our own patients, we've been analyzing uh, the, the effect of the, the location in, in terms of, of the, the CISO outcomes. And, and we've been uh, able to, to kind of define some parts of the ANC that seems to be so-called hotspots there, and you're more likely to, to get responses here. This is again like something, the work in progress. And there are like also might be that actually you have like some other, like because we were in the, the original approach is this transventricular approach when you put the electrodes to the anterior nuclear thalamus uh, through the ventricles. But there's also like this alternative techniques that are applied where you, you have the lateral approach where you kind of you, you go through the, the brain matter and that causes a, strike, a slightly different uh, orientation in, in terms of relation to the ANT and it seems like and also like some uh, groups are uh, uh, saying that, that they demonstrate that, that they are able to, to have an effect on the, uh, on the outcomes from let's say slightly different uh, locations and what is now uh, like intensely uh, kind of studied is that that it might be that that it's not like one spot for everybody so it might be that actually we we should have individualized uh, uh, kind of targeting uh, the, the based on the individual network derangements and maybe the the epilepsy type and the seizure types there and i think this is something that there is like a lot of research going on trying to understand and it might be that that, that there's like one one uh, you know one place that doesn't cure everything but that requires individual understanding about the brain networks and the structural connectivity and but it's like it seems that even um, slight variations in terms of like how you target the current like we have had patients that that we have been trying to like uh, trying to increase the current and doing other stuff there but only after we change the contact and and if you think about the uh, kind of the the these you have four different Different contacts in the ANT DBS lead, and the length of the one contact is 1.5 millimeter, and the interspace, depending on the electrode type, is either 0.5 or 1.5 millimeters there. But we have even shown that that actually in some patients that if when you change to the to to the adjacent contact, that is like uh, only for one uh, one point uh, 2.25 millimeters away. You can, you can, there's, it makes a great difference in terms of somebody who doesn't respond at all turning into the responder there.